Well, um, there are several Talstone generators I found, but none of them you could really AFK with very well. Um, so, listen, you start with. Well, you could also dig it into a pit, but it's like six, seven long. You just start building up like this. Um, as I'm building, it's a lot of try on there, so if I screw up, don't be surprised. Yeah, th what I'm building right now will be the side that I put all the water, well, one water source, and this cobblestone generator will take two water sources, one lava source. But, yeah. Just start. This will be a water basin. As you can see, it'll do. Water will hit lava um, two, across two blocks, which is nice because um, a little bit more cobblestone for the time you spend on it. So this side will be the lava side. Um, the lava side's a little bit trickier because it has to be another level up. Before I finish that, I'll go ahead and put some water in. Now that block, you have to get it to the back first. Oh, really? Forgot to build the... <laughs> forgot to build the rest of the canal. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, let me fix this. There's the back. Build these out. It's just a simple water canal. So, oops, come on. There we go. Ta-da, fixed. Okay, um, let's go back and finish with this. Whoops. Oh, there we go. You yeah, see, I can hit that back wall from the back, but I can't actually knock out the back wall. Um, it's just the right distance that a block on the block that. Now you'll see when I start actually getting some cobblestone from it. Whoops. Alright. So this is the lava side. As you can see, it's a little bit more complex than the water side since lava doesn't seem to flow as far for whatever reason. The same deal with the water side. you got to put a... you got to block part of it off so that it'll make it all the way to the end. There we go and put in your lava source block. Or, well, lava buckets and water buckets work too, but I didn't feel like doing that. I just used Invet... Oh, there we go. I just used Invet it to build this thing. Right, and then... Ah! Gotta fix that now. You can see it, f it flowed across the cobblestone and landed on top of the water, destroyed the water there, so now I gotta fix this mess. Um, So then I gotta go back down and replace that. There should be a water source block right there. Where I'm standing. Right. Get out of this hole. Well, maybe. There we go. Put a water source block down there. Let's see. There we go. Water. Water source block there. See, now it's flowing the right direction. And break that block and quickly break the sandstone on top. There we go. That looks right. And I'd like to put sandstone on top because it less directions that the um, cobblestone can break and fly into the lava. See, it carries everything to the end here. If you watch, I can just hold down the mouse button and I can't break it because I'm just far, I'm just out of reach of that, the back of the machine or generator. Um, nice for large volumes of cobblestone, or it'll even take a long time with a generator like this. You can just set down the mouse block, mouse button. Hit this block like the sign says. Just aim right at it. Whoops. You just aim right at it like the sign says and hold the mouse button down for hours. You could leave this thing running all night with something holding down your mouse button and get a ton of cobblestone. So I'll just put in another sign that says stand here. I'll tell you where to stand. See? Water current pushes all the cobblestone you harvest to you. Diagonal arrow. How do I do that? 
Yeah, if you stand where this sign will be. How do you do that backwards every time? Hmm. I like a diagonal arrow. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. So, yeah, if you stand right here in the underwater, it'll push you back, so you can't knock out the back wall. You can just tape your mouse down or something and mine forever without breaking it. Enjoy.